started with our questions. So, Annika, how did you first hear about FIRST and when did you first join? Um, well, I first joined FIRST officially was through the Haggerty Robotics Program. Um, and I joined as an FTC uh, robotics member. But I actually first found, found out about FIRST through um, a robotics class in around middle school. Where they were, they were started a course on robotics and they worked with like EV3s. And it was like brand new. So the teachers brought up uh, first and like FTC, FLL, right? FLL robotics. And then as like a potential like club for that went along with the class. So if kids wanted to join the club, they could do FLL as a robotics team. But at the time, Nothing was set up because it was like a brand new class, but it was a suggestion. That's how I first heard about FIRST. But I joined Haggerty Robotics through the summer camp, Haggerty Robotics Recruitment Camp, and that's where I first was introduced to that experience. Yep. Cool, cool. So um, what are some core memories you made um, throughout your journey with FIRST? Um, I feel like a lot of the core memories I have are, are really random, okay? So they're not like the competitions, although I do have a lot of core memories of like late nights in the robotics room, like we're there to like 1 a.m., <laughs> probably not that late, probably around like 10 p.m. Um, and then like even just like hanging out at the school library, I have a lot of core memories there, um, just like goofing around with the robotics kids. But with first, I'd say like maybe competitions. So preparing for the competitions and yeah. Um, let's see. A specific core memory would be um, like we were at States, I think. And after we finished the robotics team went to like a restaurant. And I remember one of our, I was like a freshman and one of the members on our team or like he had like a really big appetite and he ordered like a foot long burrito and he could not finish it and we were so surprised that he could not finish that burrito but then again it was like a foot long and I don't know that stuck with me and oh at the restaurant we also played mafia <laughs> so yes um I think a lot of our memories is just like hanging out and like having robotics experience like robotics brought us together but like during that time we just like hung out and had fun and I think that's where most of our core memories came from but robotics is like what brought us all together so um those are my core memories from being with first <laughs> okay um, all right so what skills have you learned by being on a first team that you still use today um, I think what first, I didn't really, um, learn new skills from, um, being on a first team. I will say, um, I like built my experience through first because I learned, um, I was on multimedia. So if you guys don't know, I'm a multimedia person. Um, but, uh, I guess like, um, it did like enhance my finger dexterity with like screwing in stuff with an Allen wrench. But like, um, I wasn't big into hardware or software, but some of the knowledge from first, like, I don't know, like a computer science major was talking to me the other day about his research. And he was like talking about open CV. And I was like, oh, I can actually understand what he's talking about. <laughs> and like, I'm not someone that works with any software so I don't know how to write any code but at the same time I like understood what he was talking about um so I guess that helped me a lot but as for like like skills that I had I had a lot of like photoshop skills video editing photography um just like image manipulation 
art, drawing, all of that stuff, like I learned outside of robotics, but I use them in robotics. And I think that helped me like gain experience for four years of just doing that over and over again. Um, and it's something I enjoyed. So yeah, I, I, definitely, I definitely expanded a lot of my knowledge through um, being on a first team, especially in those like fields, yeah. Good, yeah. So um, are you still involved with uh, FIRST today, like outside of high school? Um, let's see, I'm not directly involved as an alumni. Um, I like I don't volunteer at the competitions or like um, like go to first teams directly. I mean, and I guess I guess like this Zoom meeting is a way for me to interact with the first um, team. But like in strange ways, like I, I still am like I'm not uninvolved, but I'm not involved, you know, like if you want, I can always come and help <laughs> if I have time to spare. I'm at like college and all that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm not directly involved, but I, I do have free time sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, So how do you think the first uh, affects the STEAM community? Okay, um, I think like the, organi the organization first, it has, it has a pretty good, good impact. It's very widespread, um, especially since FIRST has so many like partnerships and like so many people working with FIRST that make um, STEAM possible within like the local community and like the teams like such as yourselves always reaching out to the local and global community like and um, what is it and depending on your goals like your goals outside of robotics like you might be doing like a side project that I have no idea what you're doing but like you guys can like reach out through steam um I actually really like that you talked about your you your question was worded steam instead of stem um <laughs> Uh, uh, art is, is so important <laughs> it is important like this year it's like the theme yeah stage so it has like it incorporates all that art so mm -hmm. yeah, it's important okay um so in what ways did you contribute to your team while being a part of handy robotics i'm sorry can you can you repeat the question <laughs> in what ways did you contribute to your team while being a part of Haggerty robotics Okay, um, let's start with um, freshman year, Haggerty Robotics. Freshman year, I was still like being introduced to the robotics stuff and I wasn't aware of the potential and like what was needed for the robotics team. I, I kind of just like was in the background. I didn't really do much, but um, I did work a bit on the promote video and with some more season members and then let's see i also remember not going to many meets because um, i honestly did not know about them <laughs> but um later in the year we did uh, i did go to some of the meets during like springtime january and interestingly we did go to worlds my freshman year and i i was like i didn't do anything but we're at here <laughs> But I had a fun time. I, I will say I did have a lot of fun time. And I was like still kind of new. So like meeting everyone was also very nice. Um, my sophomore year, I became multimedia lead. I was just assigned the role. Like no one no one was like, um, Anika, what do you want to be? They, they just gave it to me. I was like, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll uh, do stuff. And I did a lot of logo designing, like, like promote and compass videos both of them and mostly by myself there wasn't really anyone else working in multimedia so that's where I started to learn oh there's so many other things that I can do as a multimedia lead and I also did like shirt designs for um, leagues so all the volunteers wore my shirt <laughs> and then junior year was COVID year so it was very difficult but like um I think I was still able to work on some multimedia. Um, and I, I was moved from 4227 to 4717. So I switched between the Haggerty team 
as my senior year, I worked as both the team lead and the multimedia lead. So um, let's see, I worked on the portfolio, I did social media, I did photography. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of strange because I'm like a team, I was, a, I was like a team lead, but I wasn't a driver. So they probably thought, I don't know, Nathan was some, was the team lead or something. And I was just kind of in the background taking pictures, but you know, um, I enjoyed my senior year and I think I grew the most through robotics and I gained a lot of experience being the like team captain. I was like, I don't know how to um, work. I don't know how to get the members working as a team. Um, but I think everyone just like working together um, made it to the world competition on my final year. So very proud of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, um, so how do you see like the exp your experiences from uh, your robotics uh, translating into potential like career opportunities? Hmm. Um, first, being on a first team um, really helps me with good experience. Um, some of the skills that I used um, during robotics like learned outside of being on an FDC team, like such as school courses, like Photoshop and stuff. Like I, being on an FDC team helped me enhance those skills. Um, and right now I, let's see, in during last fall, I worked on an internship as a product photographer for a small business company. They're called Replay Recycled and um, basically, I took pictures, but they saw that I had like almost four to five years of experience within like Adobe Suite and photography. And they're like, oh, my gosh, she actually knows how to use a camera. <laughs> she knows how to adjust the shutter speed, ISO and aperture. And I was like, yeah, I have so much experience of it, like with just being on a first team. And not a lot of kids have that. Like. And um, yeah, like actual experience, like work experience. I feel like FTC, being on an FTC team is like running a small business. <laughs> There's so many things that, that's going on, but it helps you gain the experience while you're not like um, getting paid. You know, it's like, an, it's like an internship and I'm having fun. So I'm gaining experience, I'm having fun. And like right now I am a intern at UF for graphic design. I'm a graphic design intern. So I'm always working on Canva and Photoshop and Illustrator. And yeah. Oh, um, let's see. It, it might be like not a career thing, but being on a robotics team, I did learn some of Onshape. <laughs> so I was like told like I had to do CAD for one of my classes and I was like, oh, it was like Fusion 360. So it wasn't that hard, but um, <laughs> like learning a little bit of Onshape helped me through Fusion 360 and it was like super easy. So yeah, <laughs> robotics definitely helped with my career growth, yes. <laughs> Do you have any advice for our team this year, specifically to promote video, which Bianca can talk about? Okay, any advice? Um, let's see. I would say don't be afraid to learn new skills. I feel like I was very afraid to learn new skills being on a robotics team, but um, I had mentors like they were like Annika, just just stay in robotics. Um, you're you're gonna learn like don't be afraid to like be on robotics and not do any hardware or software. Um, like I think Miss Poe really um, pushed me. She was like, Annika, you can stay on the robotics team. We need people like you. And I'm like, you need me. Yeah, but I didn't really spend much time doing any hardware. But I am someone that really enjoys tinkering and like working with my hands and like doing crafts and stuff. So being on the robotics team was a very new experience. And yeah, one of my advices would be 
don't be afraid to learn hardware. <laughs> um, and don't be afraid to learn multimedia. Um, but any advice for promote? I don't really have much advice for promote, to be honest. Storyboard and don't record in the bathroom because it echoes. <laughs> Someone did record in the bathroom. And I'm like, I I mean, I used the audio, but I had to edit the audio um, a lot because I guess I learned something from that. <laughs> I learned how to um, get rid of an echo on an audio. Um, so I guess record in the bathroom, but preferably not. <laughs> right. um, uh, let's see. So like our promote uh, award question this year, it was, uh, do I, I forgot, okay. Uh, the question was like, what's something you like about like first and stuff like that? What's the best thing about it? So uh, can you, what, what do you think is like the best thing about uh, first? Let's see. Um, one of my best, one of the best things about FIRST is I would say friendship. It brings people together. Friendship is magic. Friendship is magic. <laughs> Go my commissions. Um, teamwork. So yes, the friends that we made along the way. Yeah, I think FIRST put me on a journey that um, a lot of other kids that aren't in FIRST but are in high school probably wouldn't have. Um, so like thinking back, um, if my friends today had not joined Haggerty Robotics, I don't think I would have any of those friends <laughs> today. Like I'm, I still keep in touch with a lot of the friends that were in robotics that I do right now. So I think robotics brings people together and that is the best thing about FIRST. And that is my favorite memory about FIRST, yes. Um, can you show Annika some stuff? Like, we have some planning. This is our uh, robot as well. <laughs> but we're going to show you some stuff for promote now that we that Bianca was working on. So. Okay, so this is the um, thing for the promote. Oh. And basically. <laughs> <laughs> so right you got this we have a lot of time <laughs> like if you have any advice and stuff for like about the script you know i think the script is very important and also how you're going to execute the promote video and how you're going to show it to your audience and maybe a little bit of creativity I did a lot of the promote, but like in, in years past, but I don't want you guys to copy my promote videos, <laughs> you know, like do something new, do like stop motion or I don't know, claymation or I don't know, you, you do, you do it yourself. <laughs> so basically um, our idea was like a map and mm -hmm. it's like the pixels on it, which is like what the robot needs to like pick up as like the main element. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to see, but inside each pixel is a picture of a team member, and it'll like go through and like zoom in on each one of them, and mm -hmm. we will share what the best thing about first is. Um, so I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Have any advice that would make it better, or like any suggestions? Any suggestions to make it better? Um, I, I am not sure. I think you guys are already doing super well. Like, um, let's see. A lot of trouble that I had was fitting it into one minute, I think. <laughs> so um, I don't know Like, if every member may, might have to talk for like 10 seconds. So every, every member might be only saying like one sentence. But other than that, um, I think you guys are doing super great already. So I don't really have too much advice to give. Um, 
but yeah, I want you guys to like, I wanted you guys to expand more on like multimedia. So I'm glad that you guys are sticking with it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting us interview you today. Thank you. I, I, I have more of an audience than I thought I would have. <laughs> as many people as we could today yeah okay mm -hmm. right. bye bye, bye.